Hello everyone. So we're going to prepare a tax return for common law or married couple, but we're not filing taxes for both of them, which are sometimes common. One spouse might decide to file on their own. One spouse might decide to file with a different accountant or on their own individually. So the purpose of this video for this practice is to show uh, when we're only filing one tax return for married or common law couple. So once you sign in and you click new return, you'll be on the identification page. So I put tag file and link return. Um, again, this is not part of the income tax. It's just for information only. So we're preparing tax return for Curtis Lobo, a 1985 June 1, SIN number. And marital status we're putting as common law. So now it would ask us, did your marital status change during 2020? We can say no or yes if depending on the situation do you want to prepare your return together so we are not preparing the tax return together because the other spouse is not filing with Curtis so we can select no province of residency is Ontario did you move from another province mailing address the same as home um, so we can check mark those and click next so now we have to provide Curtis's mailing address so auto populated from Google 10 apartment street 8 Dundas Street West Toronto Ontario so all this information is correct I can click expand and edit to remove it has your mailing address changed so you can select no or you can leave it blank meaning doesn't apply mm, are you eligible so some of the information everything is empty but you would notice that did you live together throughout 2020 is already check mark yes they were living together as common law partners it's just that we're only filing taxes for curtis lobo now if i go next you will see that software does not allow me to go next are there some information that we need to provide answers to so one of that being that do you have any property outside of canada of 100,000? Um, other questions it's by default no so you can click no or you can leave them blank are you a Canadian citizen so we can say yes and then do you want your information to be on elections Canada we can select no so this is for um, voting purposes only so we're gonna we're done with identification of Curtis now when we're going next it's asking us spouse information so in the previous examples where we did a single person you never saw this information come up now we're doing a common law are married but we're only filing for one spouse even if you're filing for one spouse you still need to provide additional information for the partner so in our case the partner is rosemary last name is Johnson date of birth 1985 July 15 and net income information so Rosemary is working Rosemary has a net income of 50,000 so in order to file one tax return for married or common law partner you would need their basic information first name last name birthday sin number and net income because of the non-refundable credits and benefit calculation so do you want to provide additional information so if you select yes you can provide additional information for rosemary otherwise if the only thing you want to provide is the net income that is sufficient for filing purposes if rosemary qualifies for disability uh, mental or physical impairment was rosemary self-employed so additional information that you can provide for rosemary and if um, lived separately so this would be also applicable the same way if you're preparing for a non-resident spouse so other additional information depending on the situation so we're done with rosemary And now it's asking us autofill for Curtis. We're not doing yet. Um, does Curtis and Rosemary have any dependents? So if they do have children, you can select yes and input the children information. 
now we're under income profile so what type of income Curtis has so we can select yes and we can select the type of slips or information that we would have for Curtis so simple straightforward he only has a T4 so others I can see but I'm not selecting as he doesn't have any of those income so then I will click next it will take us to the T4 for Curtis so he works for 2,3,5,8,4,5 Ontario Inc province of employment is Ontario tax information So Curtis has additional boxes on his T4, so I selected all the boxes that I need to input. Now I'm going to provide the information for each box. These are new and additional boxes, um, only for tax year 2020 because of the CERB payments, so that employers can inform CRA um, for those payments from March 18 to September 26 if they were working and how much they were working for each period um, The other thing that Curtis has is this box 46 for $350 So this is a charitable donation that he did through the company So the employer inputs it as $350 which will go as a non-refundable credit So under summary we can see employment income for Curtis and then under deductions, so no RRSP, uh, but donations, now we don't have to select yes, unless Curtis has donated anything outside of what he donated through the company, otherwise that donation will automatically go from the T4 as a charitable donation. So then we can go next, uh, if we work from home, we can say yes, flat rate, how many days he work, we can say that he work 200 days, out of 365 days but based on flat rate you get two dollar per day to a maximum of four hundred dollar if detail method then you need a le um, form signed by employer which is t200s short form for home office and you need to keep all your receipts so investment expenses other deductions we're just gonna skip through as it doesn't apply now we're, in, we're under climate action incentive it's selected yes but climate action incentive is given per family to only one spouse so if we want to claim under Curtis we will select yes but if Rosemary has already filed her taxes and claimed the climate action then we can say no that means the climate action was already claimed by Rosemary and as we can see that the refund drops between yes or no because of the climate action is a refundable credit for residents of Ontario so if I quickly want to review the summary we can see employment income 400 home office as other employment expenses we can see deductions the donations which came from the T4 box 46 federal taxes provincial taxes total tax payable total income taxes deducted at employment which is 16,000 and we did not see any climate action incentive as it was claimed by Rosemary for the family which would include Curtis as well and then if they want to claim any rent as part of the Ontario Trillium benefit we will review any diagnostics if it's their pension is splitting if they are seniors and they have pension income in our case does not apply under summary we can see the income, net income, taxable income, tax payable, and the refund or balance owing. So that we can go next, review and file, how we want to receive the notice of assessment. And if your tax return is complete or not. So if I go back and come to make sure that 
congratulations tax return is complete if it's not complete you can click start review and the software will take you to each section that you have missed or skipped or you did not provide sufficient information and then once that's good we can print a copy and file the tax return to Canada Revenue Agency for Curtis only.